Welcome to day 69 of my 100 days of Wafika journey. Today we have a client first style guide built with variables that I'm gonna share. This style guide is partially built with variables because variables do not have the full extent of styles that we can substitute a style guide with variables. But this majorly helps with keeping the website consistent, keeping spacing, font size and all that just consistent across the website. Also making it easy for the client to change and make edits and understand what global sizes are and how they are used and where they're used and what the sizes are. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, stay tuned on this 100 days of Fafla journey. Let's get to it. All right, so let's get to it. First, I would like to point out that I'm not associated with FinSuite. Uh, I'm building this only for demo purposes for this video. So this is built on top of the FinSuite client first project starter that you can get on the client first website. Now, first of all, if you are not familiar with client first, client first is a naming system that helps organize and keep your website consistent. Now, this is something that can help your team work together uh, more efficiently or help your clients or however uh, you distribute websites. So you can read more about it here in finsuite.com slash client first. I'll leave the link in the description below. Uh, when you click on get the clonable, you're going to find this new, well, this project that you can clone and start your project on top of it. Now, this is a, uh, the style guide is built in here, so you can just clone it and start your project. So I'm building on top of that with variables. Variables is the new feature released by Webflow on October 5th, 2023. Now this uh, feature allows you to store font size, uh, font family and colors for now, but it can be very powerful in helping your site stay consistent. Again, this uh, feature has limitations. It's not responsive yet, so you cannot store for uh, mobile or you just have to do it manually basically you create more variables for mobile landscape and tablet but whatever we have today is just for desktop so let's go through the style guide now the style guide is pretty basic I just added this body section to specify that we're using these uh, styles on all body types so this is the style guide pretty basic the same as FinSuite style guide but now you can see the sizes, uh, the font size, the height, some of the paddings, uh, for example, here, the paddings are in purple. So you see this purple color. This means that this is pulling from a variable. And if you click on it, you can see which variable is pulling from. So padding global desktop. Now let's have a look at that. Now, if you click V on your keyboard or go to variables, which is right here, uh, you can click on it and you can see that there are different styles set up, so block quotes, uh, font size, font height, the left border width, so this is the quotes where there are quotes, here buttons, small, large, uh, medium, here colors, uh, headings, h1 font size, h1 font height, uh, h3, h4, h5, uh, icons, small, medium, large, margins, max width, so these containers, I see them frequently. So here you can uh, like have them as a global style or a global measurement unit so that you can use it in different places and just stay consistent with it. Uh, text size and, and so on and so forth, paragraphs. Now, there is a downside here that you cannot reorganize this, but the good part is that you can go on search and just like, for example, H1, you can find the relative uh, variables for each one. Uh, same thing if you're here, if you're right here, let's say I added a text, so a text block, and I want this to have the H1 uh, size. So I can just click here and search H1, and I can find it, as you can see, font size. Click on it, now I have, and then maybe the height H1, oh, what happened there? Okay, so here I can search H1 font height. Now I have this text looking like H1. Now I know H1 has a weight 
and also weight is not something that you can store as a variable so here here shows the limitations of this feature thank you for watching the video i hope i taught you something today make sure to subscribe give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of wi journey see you tomorrow